Hello people of the tube. Sorry I've not been uh, making videos recently. I know I've missed a couple of days or I should have been. And um, it's now time today and tomorrow to finish off the Leprechaun series. Uh, will I do Leprechaun Origins? I doubt it. For me, Leprechaun ended when he went back to the hood. That's when the series ends. Just like Chucky technically ended after the seed popped. But unfortunately there is a new one. And if I ever do those, I will probably have to do it. Especially since it's the only one to come close to being horror like the first one. But anyway. Uh, so, what's next in the Leprechaun series? Well, he was in outer space. He was in Las Vegas. He was in motor carts. What's next? The hood. Now this sounds completely stupid. It's exactly how you would think it would be. With, um, not racist, but cliche black token characters. You know, going around, yo, 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 stuff like that. And that's kind of what it is. But... There's also a lot of good humor to it, too. And that's what I like about this movie. This movie is more of a comedy than it is a horror film. Unlike the first film that likes to push itself as a horror film, and unlike 2, which I'm not really sure what it was pushing itself as, and 3, which was just pushing itself as, like, a drama, I guess, and then 4, which was pushing something, this one is mostly comedy, with a lot of drugs jokes that actually work, I hate drug humor, but I do admit that some of the uh, jokes work in here. The fact that this movie stars Ice-T is also a good thing, and it's actually really funny. It's a decent role with him in there. Um, it's, Leprechaun in the Hood is mostly about Ice-T, who finds a f golden flute, which was never mentioned in the series before, but now exists. You'll notice that over the Leprechaun series, different stuff comes around that just pops up and, you know, like, the coin is giving you wishes. This is another random thing he yeah. had. Well, anyway, uh, they use the flute. You blow the flute, uh, it makes people pay attention to you, and then whatever musical instrument or singing or whatever you do, people love it. Uh, so that's how Ice-T, apparently, in the 70s, he found the flute from the Leprechaun, uh, and he rose to fame, and now he's a giant rapper artist dude. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny, ain't it? But, um, now he has, he runs a record label to get these kids out of the Compton streets and to become big raptor, rappers. Uh, they rip them off, they almost kill them, they steal the thing and the, the flute and they unleash the leprechaun. This is my favorite film out of the entire series. I like the direction they went with making this mostly comedy than horror, and it is actually really enjoyable. It has some really good lines, some enjoyable characters. Um, the deaths are toned down. None of them are really over the top, except for uh, stomach explosions. But um, it's actually a really interesting film. There's also a leprechaun rap at the end. I would have to say this is a thumbs up when it comes to being the best in its series. Next is Leprechaun Back to the Hood, which they tried to be as funny, but they fail by having worse acting and a lot of other things that I will mention in my next review. So look for Leprechaun Back to the Hood. Peace.